Hello everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part two of a five-part video series for St. Patrick's Day nails. Today we're going to strip my aquarium nail that I've done the week before and I'm going to try to salvage as much of this nail as possible. I've drained the tank and I'm going to be removing the bottom and cap parts and um, shaping it up to look like a ballerina nail. And in my video, we will occasionally have Dexter um, pop in and out of film as he loves to see what I'm doing. There he is. <laughs> so what I wanted to discuss in this video is obviously um, I wanted to show what I'm doing in today's nail video and then um, play a little bit of my 100 baby challenge for the Sims game and I will be selecting a winner for my 100 subscriber giveaway. So let's get started. So uh, to recap, we have introduced ourselves to our first baby daddy and we've accomplished the first kiss action which is great because then after this we just have to get to a whisper seductively action in order to make woohoo <laughs> at least that's what they call it um or try for baby so those are the two options that um, we're trying to get to and of course I had to say hi to Travis he's in every world and um, he may be the next in line oh. so like I said I think if you're playing this game you definitely need to do like at least three friendly interactions and then three um, romantic actions um, and then go back to doing like a friend action and alternate so that you don't, the person doesn't lose favor in your intentions and oh my gosh this poor woman needs to take a shower so funny. <laughs> Check to see what my choices are. Let's try kiss. Seem to work. Oh, he's walking away. Okay. So I think we've gotten to a good place with him. So I'm just going to take this well needed shower. Back to the aquarium now. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to shave layers away until um, the seams become loose. So back to the game. I'm just surveying the land to see what's out here because I need to make money. And the only way that I could possibly is I can fish and sell my fish or I can find um, spots that I can dig and find some items that are worth something. I just realized one of the rules for this challenge is that you have to have a normal lifespan and I've been playing long 
with my other games because I like a long play. But this is good too because this makes you, um, it quickens the game. Um, and then obviously making it harder to reach the 100 baby challenge. But, um, it's better in the long run because you don't want to be playing this game forever. <laughs> So again, I'm just looking around the area and see these items here. I can dig and hopefully find something there to sell. Who's this guy? Okay. There's just all over the place. And it's a good thing that I'm finding all these things because I could, they cost, um, I mean, they're not too much in value, but I'm going to have like a yard sale, I guess, and then, um, to, uh, mark up the prices. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this because I need to meet this guy. I need to find out. Um, if he's single. Brinable oh, Chelky. Uh, uh, Tuga. <laughs> uh. They sound so Bad funny. Babna Turf. Wumsha Siba. Vamu. Dirty sleuth. Oh, Vula Epni. Demba Bifna. Simze. Jab Grau. His Oeza Jensiba? Karu. Narbo Shoib. This bar is Nalfi Duba. Nonafario Yamisha. The longest part I feel. Just a shop talk. Like. Bean. Oh, <laughs> Mobsy. Fake it till you make it. Be friends. But ultimately, I am something from you. <laughs> you don't like me? Alright, well, let's make something. Apparently, I'm hungry. And he's back! Okay, I'm gonna have to not. You're gonna have to stop cooking. <laughs> so this is my opportunity to seal the deal. Zarf Samzo, Quink, Quink, Abba, ha <laughs> ha! Huh? Gorba, Glusha, <laughs> Pepso, Wadisa, Yibs, Yibs, Tombra, Rocky, DZ Bobna, Yana, Stewie, Honda Platts, Susu, Ooh, we're going full throttle on this. <laughs> Oh man, this is so wrong in the real, real world. Oh, I have Whisper Seductively, so we're gonna select that instead. Oh, never mind, I can try for baby now. Let's try for baby. Our first baby. Well, our first potential pregnancy. I am now going to apologize for the PG-13 content. <laughs> At least they make it cute though. But this is so silly. 
the magic makings of a baby. Anyway, back to my aquarium now. So I'm just filing away until I get to remove this piece here. And I'm going to file away that end cap there, but now I can um, shape up this nail. So now we're going to see if I'm pregnant. Oh, and success! We are impregnated! Yay! <laughs> oh man. One down, 99 to go. He's happy about it. She broke the news and he's like, oh, okay, that's cool. So let's go back to cooking out. We can leave. So it seems easy right now. Like, I have a decent amount of simoleons. Um, I have a decent amount of space to live in. Um, but that's all going to change. Um, even after just one baby, so things will definitely get very interesting. Food, yay! I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator so it doesn't go bad. Food does go bad in this game. So just want to check um, any holidays that I don't want to have. We're just gonna speed up this process while she's eating so most of her um needs are met and they're most of them are green except for her um sleeping and uh that will definitely change i just realized i don't have a garbage can so we're going to um put that in And it's good to have a garbage can in this game, in this challenge, because um, the more trash you put in there, uh, you can rummage for things and um, find items there to use to fabricate things. I'll show um, you guys as the game goes on. Right now I'm just doing the basics. Um, like looking for frogs and digging. So, this is, uh, they have random plants everywhere, and I want to find one that I can harvest the fruits from the flowers, the fruits, or the vegetables, and I'll be able to replant it on my lot so um, I can grow my own produce and then sell that as I um, build inventory. I'm going to open her um, health storage that goes with her and um, I found a frog. Digging. I found some sort of fossil that I'll have to discover. another item that I'm going to dig up. So I like how my thumbnail just kind of screams ballerina even when I was removing the um, aquarium part of the nail. So that just made it a lot easier. And now I'm just going to um, take my cone shape carbide bit and I'm going to file down that end cap. It's 
going to take a bit of, um, just a little bit of pressure to get that down. So back in the game, I'm just looking for everything that I could possibly find in my neighborhood. As you can see, I found a mystery box, or time, or not a time capsule, but some sort of capsule, and um, some, uh, what is that, like a geo rock, I guess? We're going to open that up to see what's in it. Sometimes you find like really pricey items and those are so good because um, obviously I can use the money. Uh, sometimes I like to collect the rare and uncommon um, finds. But we'll see. I mean, obviously I have so many now, but later down the road I might need to cash them out. getting uh, it's already past midnight so we're going to head to bed staying outside past midnight is never a good idea so I'm, I'm gonna get a like a yard sale table so that we can um, sell these items. So you, I would prefer to do it this way just because you can mark up the prices by like 300% which is insane but people do buy it. There's always buyers somewhere, right? And I'm just dumping all my finds in there, and I think in the morning I'll do a yard sale. So just, um, sp I think the game automatically speeds up the sleeping process, because clearly there's nothing you can do while you're sleeping. But she is waking up early because she has to go to the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Turn the table. And um, here I show you that we can mark up. The prices. We're gonna start our yard, yard sale. I'm gonna have to fix the pitch of her voice. I mean, obviously, my name is Honda here, and it, I tried to make it look like me. But I think her voice is a little deeper than mine. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Oh, no, Chloe. Oh. So stars around someone like this means that they're a celebrity, and I'm freaking out because there's a celebrity trying to buy my cheap crap. <laughs> and she walked away. Whatever. Dag dag. Ah, a flush. So now the yard sales are tricky. You have to introduce yourself and then you have to ask about their day. I find that they usually buy things. You ask them about their day and then you, you give a sales pitch. Like if she was a salesman. Oh my gosh, Dexter. If she was a salesman, um, she's spot on because I don't know what the hell she's talking about. 
but she sounds like she's selling it. Oh, and she's back. Look who's back. You should buy something because we know you have the money. Sometimes they just stand there and they just want to talk to you. Like, uh -huh. I hate that. Stop talking to me. It was all about business. And I'm like, nope, I'm leaving. Who's this guy? Triple introduction. Your tills are good too because um, people that you wouldn't have met uh, show up at your yard sale and then you introduce yourself um, so that you can invite them over a lot later. So I'm going to have to do that with these guys, find out if they're single. I mean, the game allows you to do whatever you want. So even if they weren't married, you could still um, try to have a baby with them. But, you know, I'm on the morality train, so we're not going to be doing that. So, I mentioned in my last video that there's like these um, neighborhood action plans and um, you have to vote on them because some of these things are so not even funny. Uh, painting, that's fine. Sometimes there's like free brawl or whatever, so you just randomly fight people. And the annoying part about that is if anybody starts fighting, then whatever it is you're doing, you'll just stop and you'll run to whoever they are and watch it. Like, why? I don't care. Stop fighting. Peace, not war, right? Anyway, see, Dexter's all up in my spot. <laughs> he, I mean, he was all about it. He usually isn't. He'll just lay it on the rug next to me. At the bottom of my feet. It's all about being alone in the picture there. Boney Yava? Sure, Okay, so we're going to um, finish this yard sale out before we end um, this segment of the 100 baby challenge. As you can see, I sold a decent amount of items, so I'm really happy about that. And this is like maybe a quick but slow way to make simoleons. Um, so we'll have to do other things. So that's the art sale. Um, we're going to stop this madness for today. And we'll continue in the next video. So this is the end result of removing that aquarium now and in my next video I will show you how I rebuild it. This is selecting a winner for my 100 subscriber giveaway. I just googled a random name picker and was led to this website here if you would like to use it for yourself and I've put down the names of the subscribers that have commented in my last video. So let's find out who is the winner for my 100 subscriber giveaway? Congratulations, Cat of All Trades. You have won my 100 subscriber giveaway. And what you will be winning is one item off of my Etsy store. And I will leave a link in the description box below as well as my furry friends Gmail Dexter's 
my alias email <laughs> so um, but I'll leave that also in the description box below and you can um, leave me your uh, shipping information and I will um, probably throw in a couple of other items in there as well as a thank you for subscribing and um, watching uh, my videos and I thoroughly enjoy watching yours as well you cook up a mean storm and wish I can eat almost everything that you've made, that I've seen I haven't seen all of it but um, definitely looking forward to watch them as I um, as I've told you sat on the bicycle uh, like working out at the gym so um, congratulations again and thank you so much everyone again for subscribing and um, finding my content entertaining enough um, for you to even watch um, this is definitely um, you know a tiny milestone but a big milestone for me just because um, like who knew that there would be this um, huge world of YouTube where there's just some really great people on here and um, for um, the contestants on here um, I thoroughly enjoy your content and our conversations I really appreciate it all and uh, just look out in the future for more giveaways um, it feels good to give back because I definitely get a lot from doing this um, as you may all feel your own uh, things that you get out of posting your videos um, this is definitely a learning experience that we all can share together so congratulate congratulations again cat of all trades looking forward to um, seeing what it is you'd like to have all right so Thanks. thank you so much for watching Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.